Hello you guys, I'm glad that you're here and I hope that everyone out there is doing well. Welcome to another video. So last week I was playing with some wax seals. So here's a little overview of everything that you see here. My wax burner came from Amazon and I just have regular tea lights underneath it. This is an old candle um, that I had just laying around the house. Because I didn't have a second burner, I used this toilet paper roll and cut some notches in it. And that is what I'm using to hold the spoon over the candle. While playing with the wax seals, I was also using BB Crafts three piece set of wax sealing spoons. So that's what you see here. Also at the top of the screen, you see some blank stamps and they are in circles and like in squares. I received those from Craspire.com and the whole entire set, the six piece set, cost about $14.43. So right here, I'm showing you my little container where I have already made a few wax seals, but I've also cut up a pack of glue sticks and these are just regular hot glue gun sticks that I got in a pack from Dollar Tree. Mine is a little bit yellow because they are super, super old and that didn't matter for what I was going to do with them. Also in some of those compartments, I have cut down crayons, just regular crayons. So in this video, I did find some glitter crayons and some metallic crayons from Dollar Tree. It's just eight count. And um, I found those in the back to school section. So here I'm just using the Fiskars fingertip detailed knife to cut the paper off of the crayon. And it comes off super easy. You guys be really careful when you're doing this. And then I'll just use a pair of old scissors to cut down the crayon in about nine small pieces. I have seen other videos where people use dog trimmers to cut it down um, or some other tools, but I find a pair of old scissors work just fine. Here I'm showing I have some crayon bits left over and all of the colors are mixed up. I am not throwing those away. I will be using those in a wax seal. So it took a little while for the four beads of glue sticks to melt, but once it got going, all I did was add one of the crayon beads into the spoon with the glue sticks. So the ratio is about four to one, and you can play with that um, until you get the consistency that you want, so it's easy to pour. And I'm just using a toothpick to stir the mixture together. So I didn't mention, but I'm using a red silicone baking pan that I do not use for baking um, to place my wax seals on and it comes up really, really easily. Some other options are a silicone mat that you can purchase, wax paper, freezer paper, or even a glass mat. So here I found some bead and coat flatbacks from Hobby Lobby that I am just putting on the wax seal to embellish it and I think it turned out really cute. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in those blank stamps, you can get them from crassfire.com and use code STACE5 for $5 off of a $40 order.
Also, if you're interested in the three-piece wax burning spoons, you can pick those up at BB Craft and use code STACE5 for $5 off of a $40 order over there as well. I appreciate you watching today. Please give this video a thumbs up and until next time you guys, bye bye.